Get your pre-workout in, bro. So pre-workouts are a stimulant based, which are trying to obviously get people to have more energy so they can exercise harder for longer, and that gives them more benefits obviously on their training. Um, and one of the main things within these pre-workouts, stimulant-wise, is caffeine. And caffeine is, is basically to increase and stimulate the nervous system so that you get more output from that nervous system and can exercise better. Um, so it's affecting the nervous system. But is that all that caffeine actually affects? Is it just as simple as it's just giving your nervous system more oomph and you can then get more out of your sessions? Or is there other elements and other effects that caffeine has on you as well? So specifically, we're going to look at now is does caffeine affect muscle contraction itself? Now, we know that caffeine has been proven time and time again to enhance exercise uh, by stimulating the nervous system and improves performance in a wide range of activities. And the effects on the nervous system are to do with binding to the A1 and the A2A receptors of adenosine. But there is also a debate whether or not caffeine has a direct effect on muscle itself. So in this study, they gave nine milligrams of caffeine uh, per kilogram of body weight to the people involved. These people were professional handball players. And what was interesting, they already regularly consumed caffeine. Now they measured muscle contractile properties with tensiomyography. They did this before ingestion and one hour later. Now obviously we know caffeine's effects on the, on the nervous system and the stimulant effect obviously dampens as you acclimatize to caffeine. So these people are regular ingesters of caffeine. So you could actually already start thinking, hmm, yeah, but if they were used to caffeine, maybe the effects we're gonna see in a minute, maybe aren't gonna be there. Um, or maybe they are. So in the caffeine group, they saw lower contractile time, so faster contraction of muscle and maximal displacement as well, which shows that the caffeine was influencing how hard and how fast the actual muscle was moving and contracting. And this was seen previously in another study where they had paralyzed individuals where they gave them caffeine and electrically activated the muscle and they saw much better activation of this muscle uh, in these paralyzed people when caffeine was involved. So this is interesting because we know caffeine obviously is already effective for stimulating uh, the nervous system, um, but it does look like it ha has an influence uh, directly on the muscle as well. So certainly it looks like if you're looking for power and strength type sort of stuff, caffeine may well also impart some effects that are positive there. And the good thing about this effect is that certainly from this study, it looks like it can still be effective and maybe is just uninfluenced by the you getting used to the stimulant itself. Uh, now, it would be interesting if they did it with people who weren't used to it and see if the effect size was larger. But certainly it was, again, another string to the bow of caffeine for certainly more explosive, powerful kind of activation of muscle kind of things. So it's interesting, um, you know, another thing for caffeine. So, yeah, get your workout in, bro. Anyway, see you next time.